A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. We're gonna bust all the myths around beer can chicken. When I first came into the world of barbecue, the one and only Pitmaster himself showed me beer can chicken. And I was like, what, what, why? I'm, I mean, okay, cool. It's beer. Why, but why? Why the beer? And he told me that, well, this is basically what everybody does. And when I looked into it, I saw that there are a lot of myths around this whole beer can chicken idea. For example, myth one, beer can chicken leads to overcooked chicken. You put it on a beer can and the airflow is going all the way around it. So I don't know, man. If you put it on a grill grate, you have less airflow. So basically myth debunked already. This is going quite well, Mitchell. Myth number two, the beer can prevents the Maillard effect. We'll see about that later, all right? Myth number three, beer can chicken is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Okay, I get it. You have your beer can, you put it on the grill grate, the, the barbecue is smoking hot, put the chicken on top, and your chicken is connected to the beer can. And the beer can probably has some paint on it. But it's 2022, guys. I mean, we're almost sending people to Mars. I got, I got just a thing for it. Do, do I need to explain more? This is, well, a replacement for the beer can. You can even, like, put, you can use it as a shaker even. Then you have your tray. This is better than a beer can chicken because now we're getting to the, to the dangerous part. A beer can can fall down. It's not gonna happen. You need this in your life if you wanna do a proper beer can chicken in 2022. And then you have the tray. So all the juices go inside the tray. Myth number four, steaming beer doesn't keep your chicken moist. I kind of get that point because the beer in the can doesn't steam that much. So these are my thoughts. What's the whole point of the beer can chicken then? Well, let's get back to this tray. I believe that when you put a chicken on top of a beer can, you force yourself to cook it in the best position possible. But in the end, there's one more important thing. It's really, really cool because beer can chicken is an amazing party trick. That's what the people want. That's why it's such a success. That's why it's classic barbecue even. So the beer can is more like, it's nostalgic. So we keep the beer, but we do it safely. 2022 style, let's get started. First things first, you need a chicken. Let's just unleash the legs. That's sexy. Okay, so the second thing is, I wanna give it a little bit more flavor. And I love chipotle. Chipotle diced peppers in adobo sauce. This is just, if you don't want to do this, you can do a ton of other things. You can do mayonnaise, you can do mustard. I don't care, I like it like this. So the way I'm gonna do this, I have a tiny bowl here. Gonna put some olive oil in, a lot of it. I was aiming for around five tablespoons. It's a little bit more now. I would say, five tablespoons, one tablespoon of chipotle in adobo sauce. Now I'm gonna go for two. But it's heavy stuff, one and a half maybe. Just go with the flow. Gonna mix this up. Now, my favorite part, the brushing. Just get yourself a brush. So here we go, stroke it. Oh man, that already looks beautiful, right? I could eat it like this. No, no, don't, don't eat it like this. Really unhealthy. But even without a rub, I could eat this. Once you have the top covered, you want to flip it around, do the other side as well, and then finish off with a little bit on the inside. And now all you need is a barbecue rub. I'm gonna use the Pitmaster X Classic Barbecue Rub. If you want to know more about our classic barbecue rubs, go to pitmasterx.com. There you can find everything you need to know. Mix it up, switch to a sprinkler cap, and get your chicken back in. And now we're gonna sprinkle it all over it. That's what I wanna see. This is an all-purpose barbecue rub. We use this for everything, basically. You can use it on pork, you can use it on chicken, whatever you like. A barbecue rub that complements the chicken and not adds a lot of flavor that you don't need. So I want basic flavors. I want to eat chicken, not something else. Time for beer. I've bought an Abbey beer. I just like the guy on the label. Look how happy he is. That's probably the most happy monk I've seen in my entire life. So it must be a good beer. So let's get back our beer can. 
I don't, I don't have an opener. I'm doing the lighter, lighter trick. Always works. Don't fill it up completely. Just fill it up three quarters. Nice beer. And now the important part, because I already told you, don't put a chicken on top of a cold beer. So we gotta warm it up. I got my Bernhardt smoker right here. Looking beautiful and all. I'm gonna turn it on to a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna take my grill grate out, take the dripping tray out, then the heat deflector, and let it come up to temperature. And now we can heat up our beer can easily. Because what most people forget is that if you take a heat deflector out of the bird heart, you have direct heat. You can even sear a steak on it. Now I'm gonna put everything back in. Now I'm gonna lock my beer can into the tray because it has a locking system. Put the cap on and then it's time for my chicken to sit straight up on top of the beer can. Look at my chicken all sitting cute and stuff. So I'm gonna open up the tray and now it's finally time for chicken to say goodbye. Woo, that's close. I'm gonna close the lid now, get some more pellets in and let it smoke. And while our beer can chicken is smoking away, chilling out, relaxing in the steam chamber, we're gonna make a buffalo sauce. And do you know what the best ingredient is to start it off with? 100 grams of butter. Then I'm gonna add Frank's red hot sauce and I'm gonna completely empty it. That's 150 milliliters. Add one tablespoon of white wine vinegar and finish off strong with one tablespoon of our very own Pitmaster X classic barbecue bread. Stir it all up, let it reduce and let it cool down and you end up with a beautiful buffalo sauce, which I'm gonna use to do all kinds of nasty things. We are currently running at a temperature of around 70 degrees on the core. I wanna show you something. You see that? You gotta hear that. That's perfect crispy skin. This is exactly what I want. Perfect, dried out, crispy, juicy chicken. I wanna turn it around again. It's like a fashion show. Jim, make this a fashion show. I'm gonna take it out now. It looks fantastic. I'm sorry guys, I just, I don't have much to say, I just want to eat it. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. You know how it is, you have a bowl of buffalo sauce. If you go to the recipe, you can make that buffalo sauce at home. You don't have to pour it all over, I just chose to do it. Let's have a look at the beer can. Here we go. Carefully take that chicken. Oh man, that's all juices. Look at that. <laughs> I told you, juicy, juicy chicken. That's not sauce, that's juices. Let's take a look at that beer. Hardly anything out of it. I filled it up for 75% and there's hardly anything gone. A big, big, big plus is you get all these juices. It's all in the tray. So let's slice into it. This was an amazing success. The sauce is amazing, the chicken is juicy and tender like you've seen in the footage. We got some epic B-roll. I got a nice beer right here. So let's see how it tastes. I'm going for the leg. Mm. Super juicy. The sauce goes super well with it as well. So you probably want to know, does it taste like beer? If it tastes like beer, you can have it. But unfortunately, it doesn't taste like beer. So it's safe. 
So you gotta feed the dog. Almost too good to feed the dog. It's amazing. I think I'm just gonna eat all this whole thing. No, 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 no. So beer can chicken. How much are you going to do this this year? I, I think um, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Really? Yeah. I think this might actually be my new favorite sauce. It's really good. Yeah, right? seriously. I, I think that Eva agrees. Eva agrees with everything. So I think we better close off. Yeah. You guys, you gotta make this. I, I want to know what your opinion is about the beer can chicken. Have you ever done it? Are you ever gonna do this? So comment down below. If you wanna try the recipe, the recipe is down below. I wanna thank all the patrons and the YouTube members and everybody that likes and subscribes this video. Yo, there's somebody there with a chicken in the hand. So, see you guys next time and until then, eat smakelijk. And keep on grilling and click on this video. It's been here for a while now. Do it, just click it. <laughs>